unnecessary, unprovoked war in Iraq. And yet, they can't get clean water. They can't get medical care. Uh, lack of opportunity and education in so many areas. These are the things that America could be doing. Under undercut people like Cesar Chavez and others. And yet we're not doing If anything, George Bush is just fanning the flames of a Cesar Chavez. Huh? Oh, Hugo Chavez. Hugo Chavez. Hugo Chavez. Take it. Oh, my gosh. Memory vein. Oh, there's union. Uh, but you get what I mean. I'm going to tell you to watch as we go past these elections coming up. The confidence of Mr. Bush will become even more fierce as he set his mind now to sooner or later, as they talk today, they're going to have to go after Iran. They set him up. It's got to be. I was reading to you about how much popularity has risen, and they said it goes up and down with the gas prices. And they gave a nice chart to show it. Is that the reason why the gas prices are going down now, just before this general election? And by the way, we all were impressed with the Pakistanians who seemingly sided with us against Afghanistan. Remember that? Well, look at this. U.S. threatened to bomb Pakistan after 9-11. The president of Pakistan said in New York just today, after the September 11 attack, the United States threatened to bomb his country. You are listening to the Overcomer Ministry radio broadcast from Walterboro, South Carolina. For our most current contact information, please visit www.overcomerministry.org. There you will find our mailing address, radio schedule, and phone numbers, where you can listen to the broadcast at any time on your phone. Also, make sure to check out the Overcomer podcasts. Our prayer line is 843-701. 5053-843-701-5053. If it did not cooperate with America's campaign against the Taliban in Afghanistan, here it is again, overwhelming living by the bomb. He said in an interview with CBS News, 60 Minutes that will air Sunday, that the talk came from Deputy Secretary of State Richard Armitage and was given to his intelligent director. The intelligent director told me that Armitage said, be prepared to be bombed. Be prepared to go back to the Stone Age. I think it was a very rude remark, said the President of Pakistan. Armitage was not immediately available to comment, and the U.S. State Department spokesman Tom Casey declined comment. The Pakistan leader, whose remarks were distributed to the media by CBS, said he reacted to the threat in a reasonable way. One has to think and take action in the interest of the nation, and that is what I did. Before the September 11, 2001 attacks, Pakistan was one of the early countries in the world to maintain relations with the Taliban, which was harboring our quarter leader, Osama bin Laden. 